In this video, we are going to learn about adaptive equalization techniques. It is Sri Devi, Professor, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. On completion of this module, the learners can able to understand the basic concepts about adaptive equalization techniques. So, uh, initially, we have to know the necessity of adaptive equalization. That is, uh, in case of uh, communication, most of the channels are made up of individual links. For example, uh, the switched telephone network, the, the uh, distortion introduced depends upon two important parameters. One is transmission characteristics of inter important uh, individual links and number of links in connection. Hence, we need a fixed pair of transmit uh, and receive filters to serve equalization problem completely. For that purpose, we need adaptive equalizer. It is an equalizer that automatically adapts to time varying properties of the communication channel. So, the basic principle of this adaptive equalization is <coughs> the filters first adapt themselves to a dispersive effects of uh, channel. That is the coefficients of the filters are changed continuously according to the received data. It is frequently used with coherent modulation such as phase shift keying and uh, the effects of multi-path propagation uh, which includes the Doppler effect. <coughs> the examples of this adaptive equalizers are zero forcing equalizer and minimum mean square equalizer and the decision feedback equalizer. So, the, uh, the two main uh, adaptation algorithms used are one is least mean square algorithm and uh, that is LMS and another one is recursive least mean algorithm that is RLS. The adaptive equalizers are zero forcing equalizer as we said. The uh, basic types of equalization, uh, equalization are is done at the transmitting side and uh, it is called as three channel equalization. If the equalization is done in the transmitting side, then it is called as three channel equalization and if it is done in the receiver side, then it is called as post channel equalization. Uh, in uh, this uh, first one, three channel equalization, this type of equalization requires feedback to know the amount of distortion in the received data. So, the combination between the uh, equalization types can made into one which which is uh, fit for some uh, specification that is passive equalizer and active equalizer. The filter implementation using traversal of uh, lattice uh, structures, linear equalization and uh, some different equalization, uh, equalization algorithms are used for this type of equalization. One is called as uh, feed forward for FIR uh, and also uh, this type of equalization removes linear errors from the modulated signals by dynamically creating uh, some compensating filter. So, because of this uh, compensation filter use, the errors can be compensated. Linear errors can uh, come from the filters in a transmitter or receiver, in intermediate filter or uh, from the presence of multipaths in the transmission path. So, the equalizers uh, it is a filter that compensates for dispersion effects of the channel that is uh, the adaptive equalizer can adjust the coefficients continuously during the transmission of the data as we said pre equalization and post equalization pre equalization recur feedback channel causes burden to the transmission. So, initially the feedback is uh, needed it should be known first it is a process of creating channel induced distortion. So, to realize the full transmission cap uh, capability of a telephone channel, this adaptive equalization is needed. So, by using this adaptive equalization, uh, we know that the equalizer that is said to be adaptive when it adjusts itself continuously during data transmission. So, depends upon the data, the equalizer adjusts itself. There is no need of adjusting the system. The equalizer itself adjusts itself. Uh, themselves. So, this pre equalization is used at the transmitter and post equalization is uh, used at the receiver. So, pre equalization requires a feedback channel and the adaptive equalization at the receiving side considered. So, this equalization can be achieved before data transmission. So, before data transmission uh, in pre equalization it should be considered. 
and in uh, adaptive equalization consists of tape delay line for 100 tapes or more uh, <coughs> than that and its coefficients are updated according to LMS algorithm. So adjusted to the filter coefficients are made in this step by step fashion synchronously with the incoming data. But in, it is reverse in case of post channel equalization. So it is uh, happening at the receiver side and it is achieved prior to data transmission by transmitting a filter with guidance of transmitting a training sequence transmitted through the channel so that is called as post equalization. It, uh, it consists of the taped delay line filter uh, with set of delay elements. This set is adjustable to multipliers connected to the delay line tapes and the sum of for <coughs> adding multiplier output. So this is the diagram for adaptive equalization. It is having the taped delay line C0, C1, C2, etc. up to Cm minus 1 and the extent of T is the digitized input signal. Delay T first one is delay T. If it is delayed, it will be X of N, uh, N of T minus T and delay another T that is N minus T minus 2 minus T and uh, N of T uh, X of N T minus M T plus 2 T etc. like this the delay will be have. The desired responses are added and finally we get the output. The modes of operations are training period mode and uh, decision direct mode. So uh, adaptive equalization uh, equalizers are used in telephone channels. The telephone channel is made up of individual links. So the distortion for telephone uh, network depends upon transmission characteristics of individual links and number of links in the connection. Hence fixed pair of transmits uh, to receive filters. We, we, uh, we will not solve the equalization problem completely. So transmission characteristics of the channel keep on changing. Therefore, the adaptive equalization is necessary for transmitting channel. So here we have the this question based upon adaptive equalization techniques. The question here is working of adaptive equalization, uh, equalization includes two uh, A is training, B is tracking, C is modulation, uh, B is both A and B. So we know that uh, the modes used are training and tracking. So, uh, correct answer is D. Both uh, A and B are correct. Thank you.